Have a good day. Yes, yes, thank you. I'm Robert. You are? Combies. Combies. H hello, Combies. Yes. Hello again. Please, please to see you again. Hi. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, so yeah, it, it, you left me with the question, didn't you, that you, you, you've you been looking at the uh, study number 15 in the Angel Life Forever book yes. about Jesus, who is Jesus, and you asked the question that you, you don't agree with what he says in uh, uh, question three, that Jesus uh, went to, uh, when he was resurrected, that he went to heaven, he returned. No, that wasn't, no, but, no, I, I didn't ask that. I thought we discussed this the last time. Didn't we discuss chapter 15 the last time? It's the statement in your book. Let me actually read it. It's okay. page 63. Uh, paragraph. Page yes, paragraph 3, or lesson 15. After Jesus' life as a human ended, he was resurrected as a spirit and he returned to heaven. It was the statement he resurrected as a spirit that I had problems yeah. with. But I okay. thought you were going to speak to me on Zoom with another elder present who was a more fluent English speaker. Didn't we agree to that? I don't recall that, actually. Okay. Uh, I mean, if, that, if that's what you wish, uh, I can arrange that. But obviously, it would have to be another day, not today. Oh, yes, yes, of course, of course. Um. Uh, if that's if that's what you'd like to do, we, we can do that. Yes. Uh, but so this paragraph three, then what what, what was the, the what was the issue? What was, what was the uh, your thought on it anyway? Um, it was this. It was the statement that he was resurrected as a spirit. Okay. I don't believe the Bible teaches that. I believe that Jesus resurrected in the same body that he died in. He prophesied that in John two nineteen to verse twenty one. Destroy this temple. John two nineteen. Okay. Yeah, destroy this temple, and in three days I will raise it up. John two nineteen, and then in verse twenty one. But he was speaking of the temple of his body, so he prophesied okay. that he would rise up in the same body that he died in. Okay. So uh, let's uh, let's just have a look at this for you. Bear with me a second. Thank you. Yes, thank you. Now, you know, the, the, there are several scriptures in the Bible that talk about that uh, flesh and blood cannot inherit God's kingdom. In other words, the flesh and blood cannot uh, be in heaven, if you like. No, okay. it, it says kingdom of God. It does not say heaven in 1 Corinthians 15, 50. No, no, no. Uh, I know I'm not talking about that particular verse. I'm talking about all the other passages in the Bible. Which passage? It's, uh, okay. Yeah. And you did quote 1 Corinthians 15, 50, and it says kingdom of God. It doesn't say heaven. And it, the context there is corrupted, fallen, unredeemed humanity can't inherit the kingdom of God. It bears no relationship to Jesus Christ. He's not one of these fallen, sinful human beings under the curse okay. of sin. Okay. Oh, in, in that case, if, you, if you're happy with that, fine. Let's just take a look at the scripture in First Peter chapter three and Th verse eighteen. Have you got a, your, your Bible handy? Yeah, First Peter three eighteen says he's resurrected by the Spirit. I'll just read it. Um, for Christ also suffered once for sins, the just for the unjust, that he might bring us to God, being put to death in the flesh, but made alive by the Spirit. Okay, you just read that from the King James Bible, didn't you? No, I said the New King James Bible. Okay, the New King James Bible, that's fine. Have you looked at other translations, I don't mean other language translations, other, other versions of the Bible, other, other translations, other yes. translation? Yes, of course, most of them read in the Spirit because it's dative, so it normally reads in most Bibles in the flesh, in the Spirit, because both of those statements are in the dative, which is movement in Greek. Um, yeah. But no Bible verse that I've ever come across says he's raised as a spirit. Now, what I think you're doing is you're taking the phrase in the spirit and you're reading well, that yeah. as he's raised yeah, well, as was, a spirit, yeah, yeah. which is not what okay. the text says. Y you see, this is the resurrection of Christ is so important. It um, is. We don't come dispute that. It is. Yeah, it, it's so it, important it, 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 that it, yeah. 
we have to understand it correctly and, and biblically. We want okay. to obey what God has revealed in the Bible, surely, because it's so important. Yes, uh, okay. Uh, just, uh, there's a passage in the, in the First Corinthians chapter 15. Yeah, I get the opinion that you don't respond to anything that I say. All you're doing is just reading off you're probably you've probably got a phone well, yeah, and you're probably just is, reading the, reading the, watchtower you've probably got a watchtower article in front of you and you're just reading a list of no, the proof text no, I, I, you know, it, it, I, you know, I'm going by by a study of the bible i mean that I've, we've studied the bible quite extensively the fact is that with, with that jesus he sacrificed his, his human body and that human body was disposed by Jehovah God. And the reason for that is that his sacrifice had to balance Adam's, Adam's life. But Adam you need to prove that. Person. No, it's no good Pardon? saying that. You need to prove that from the Bible. Don't tell me that. Prove it from the Bible. Well, the Bible is in, 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 uh, in, uh, it is in, in, in Romans, uh, in Romans chapter 12, I think it is. I'll uh, find that for you. Romans. You have had so, Rome, about a week Rome, to prepare for this. Rome, you, you want me to go to 1 Corinthians 15, now you want me to go to Romans 12. I get the opinion of just reading off a list of scriptures to me. Well, in other words, this, this is all we, all we have to go by. I'm not going to go by human philosophy, if that's what you want. I'm not, I'm not interested in, in church creed. I'm not interested in church doctrine. I'm not interested in uh, secular history references. I'm going purely by the Bible. If you want... If, if, the, the, the Bible has the authority for me. Right. Anything outside the Bible, I don't want to know. Do I get the chance to ask you questions? Yeah, by all means, feel free to ask anything you want. Uh, okay, John, t John chapter 2, verse 19 to 21, please. Let me, let me uh, open that uh, section of the... Which is up for you. Yes, thank you. John chapter 15, did you say? No, John chapter 2, verse John 19 two, yeah. to 22. Verse 19, okay. Thank you. Um, Jesus is here going to talk prophetically about his death, burial and resurrection. The reference to three days refers to his being in the tomb for three days. Yeah, yeah. Well, he was, he was dead for part of three days and then he was resurrected. Yeah, three days. I will raise and, it and up. In that, in that word, it does refer to his own body. Yes, that's correct. I will raise it up refers to his his body, just as temple is a synonym for his body or an yeah. idiom. Uh, in verse twenty one, we read, "But he was speaking of the temple of his body." So it's quite clear yeah. that he's talking about his death, burial, and then his resurrection. We read about the resurrection in verse twenty one. Therefore, when he had risen from the dead, so I'm now going yeah. to read the passage having pointed out that the context is his death, burial, and resurrection. Jesus answered and said to them, Destroy this temple, and in three days yeah. I will raise it yeah. up. Yes, the, yeah. Could I... Verse 20, the Jews misunderstand him. Then the Jews said, It has taken 46 years to build this temple, and you will raise it up in three days. Verse 21, But he was speaking of the temple of his body. Body is yeah. soma. In Greek, the word soma, when it's applied to a human being, it always means a body, a physical, fleshly body. It never means a body okay. made of the spirit. Robert Gundry did a study on soma in the New Testament. Verse 22, therefore, when he'd risen from the dead, so the context is the resurrection, his disciples remembered that he had said this to them, and they believed the scripture and the word which Jesus yeah. had said. So verse 22 yeah. fixes the context as the resurrection. Yeah. Three days in okay. verse 19 is the period in the tomb. Temple is a singular. Body yeah. is a singular. It's okay. saying that he's going to rise up in the very same singular body that he died in. Okay. Well, these verses that you just highlighted, nowhere in here gives an indication that he went to heaven with this body. I didn't stop. Please, no. man, man. Nowhere. Please, I never, said, I never said he resurrected to heaven. Oh, yeah. no, I'm, I'm, I'm going to end no, up in the mental was, hospital doing this. No, you see, Jesus, once he finished his human course, he accomplished what Jehovah God has had assigned him to do. 
and that was to sacrifice his uh, human body on behalf of mankind. Right, you need to prove that. You need to prove that. Don't say that, prove that. Prove that from the scriptures. Ransom sacrifice, the ransom sacrifice of Jesus you need Christ. to prove that. Prove there is a ransom sacrifice. Prove it from the Bible. I don't care what... I'm not, I'm not going to take anything in that you talk to me. You have to show it to me from the Bible. And I, I did suggest the last time we spoke that we speak on Zoom and you speak to me with a more fluent English, English speaker. I, I did ask you and you said that you would do that. But here you are all on your own again. And I feel... I, I feel that if we speak again, um, we should choose a different topic. I don't want to do this topic yet again. Could we look at chapter 13, please? Um, politics and, and warfare. But could we speak with a more natural English speaker, please? So it's you and another elder who's English born, please. Do you want to suspend this this? Uh this talk now, this, this occasion that we have now, do you want me to recall it a day now, shall we? Well, I think at the end of the day, I don't want to discuss the resurrection again. Okay. Now, I've raised okay, John 2... John, I've raised... Of John. Uh, please, I've raised John 2, 19, 20 to 22. I've made my point. Could you please respond to my point? Don't dance over to some well, other verse of the Bible. Um, so, because we, uh, uh, the response is that Jesus sacrificed his fleshly body for mankind. And the proof for that that you asked me, uh, it, brought, it brought me to this other scripture in the first letter of John. So you're going to ignore everything I've said on John 2, 19 no, to 22, I'm and not, you're going to I'm dance just, over to another I'm, I'm verse of the Bible. I'm just following the thread that we're talking about. Could you just address John 2, 19 to 22, please? Don't do anything else other than address what I've said. If okay, you don't want to say anything, just say, directed. I don't want to say anything. It, 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 because the Jews were having a misunderstanding and Jesus clearly clarified it for his disciples that then they realized talking about his body not talking about the literal temple. So, sorry, so what, what is the put, point put you're that. making? I don't understand you. I'm sorry. Would you, just for a second, just take a look at the scripture in, in first letter of John, chapter 2. And he himself is the propitiation for our sins, and not for ours only, but for the whole world. In other words, his life, he sacrificed that life to cover the sin of mankind. That's what propitiatory means, to cover over, to cover human sinfulness. So he sacrificed that life for humans, that, that body. Yeah, agreed. When, when, that, when that was accomplished, then Jehovah God... Uh, uh, after he's resurrected, then he he, stay, he stayed uh, because he had to materialize for his disciples and his apostles, so they could see that he was resurrected. We had one of the one of the apostles, Thomas, who was doubting. He had to convince him, give, show him convincing evidence that he was. I'm, I'm, he was yeah, I, I was. I've, oh man, man, we were in John two. Then we went to First John chapter 2 i wanted to make a comment about this and now we're going on to john 20 so we're jumping on to yet another verse i mean i can't cope with this i'm used to dealing with one thing at a time you said well, that christ died at a time it's got to fit in if it doesn't fit in you can't you can't you can't force it to fit in if it doesn't fit in it's got to fit in with the with the rest of the scriptures if 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 the scripture that you you select if it does not harmonize with the rest of the scriptures, the, the, the assumption that you based Can I on please is make? Correct. Please allow me to make a comment on one John chapter two verse two, please. Yeah, by yes. all It's not saying in one John two two that Christ died for Adamic sin, which is what you mentioned about ten minutes ago. 
And he himself, that's Jesus, is the propitiation for our sins. And not for ours only, right? So for the whole world. If for the whole world, meaning all the elect, all the peoples of God within the world. Yeah. Um, so it's it's not saying he died for Adamic sin, and I don't wish to. This, I, I don't wish to but change. But for mankind, I, and because all mankind are condemned by the Adamic sin, that's the whole point. Um, would you have any response to make to John chapter two, verse nineteen to twenty-one, please? The, the only response I can give you is that that Jesus was talking about his his uh, his body that I'm talking about when he dies. It, it was just in fulfillment of other prophecies in the Hebrew scriptures that he that he would after he died he would be resurrected. I, I don't understand you. What is Jesus saying in John two nineteen and twenty one? Perhaps if you read the verse, are you saying that Jesus is going to rise up in the same body that died, destroy this temple, and in three days I will raise it up? But he was speaking of the temple of his body. So let me ask you a question then: When he went back to heaven, which body did he take with him? Jesus, Jesus, only. What do you mean? Which body? Jesus, are you saying okay, Jesus? Had... I, I, okay. I, no, I couldn't finish the sentence. Jesus is now, as we speak. What, uh, in what form is he? Are you saying that Jesus has multiple bodies? I, you know, I, no, I can't no, finish no. the sentence and no, you ask me another question. Bodies. No, I'm saying that he, on occasion he materialized it, uh, so that he, because the human, human, we cannot see spirit creatures. So, uh, invisible to human eyes. so are you saying that Jesus resurrected in multiple bodies? Yes or no? No, I'm not saying that. No. Right. Are you, that, not are, me. are you saying that post-resurrection Jesus had one body? Jesus has always had one body. He's always, he's always been this. He's the beginning of the creation by God. So originally, when Jehovah, because Jehovah God has no beginning and has no end. He's always been. I mean, our human mind may not yeah, I'm, I'm struggle just, to often find I'm, that. I've just focused on John two nineteen to twenty one. Yes. Yeah, Did Jesus? Oh, I want to know what body he's talking about in John two nineteen to twenty one. I'll read it again. Please focus just on that. I'm not interested in anything else. Yeah. Jesus answered and said to them, "Destroy this temple, and in three days I will raise it up." But yeah. he was speaking of the temple of his body. Is yeah. Jesus saying he's going to rise up in the same body that will die and be in the tomb for three days? Yes or no? It does not say that, no. I don't think he says that. What is it, it just saying? Purely, it was just purely uh, making a reference that he would be resurrected. What is because he... if you remember, if you remember when he was resurrected and and uh, Mary and one or two other of his uh, 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 of the, uh, the female followers, when they went and, and he, he actually talked to them, they didn't recognize, they thought he, he was a gardener. But Jesus then, uh, in, in a tone, they spoke in the tone that Mary recognized is Jesus. I, 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 oh man, I, I, I can't cope with this. Did, if Jesus didn't rise up, in the same body that he died in what body is being referred to in these two verses john 2 19 and john 2 21 could you explain that to me it really doesn't matter it, it does it doesn't matter what body he refers it to it does matter it refers to his to his to his to his very being as a person it does matter which body oh, no, is he the, referring the, the, to we know from the prophecies that he would not remain in the grave for more than three days. And of course you don't quote a verse, do you? It's all paraphrased. It's all vague and it's all paraphrased. And if I go to that verse, you'll you change the topic after a couple of seconds again. Look, destroy not, not this... Really. I mean, it, it, I don't see any difficulty with that, with that verse. I don't and understand. I, I, not, man, I, not... man, you promised me you'd speak to me with another elder because I couldn't understand you the last time. And so here you are all alone. And I don't understand you. I'm sorry. I need to go at this really slowly. Now, just, just, just help me one last time, slowly. Please. Jesus answered and said to them, this is John 2.19, destroy this temple and in three days I will raise it up. 
but he was speaking of the temple of his body. Which body is being referred to here? Please help me by just explaining this one thing. Destroy this temple, and in three days I will raise it up. But he was speaking of the temple of his body. What is being referred to here? So I'm just looking at some some references to. Yeah, of course you you've got the Bible literature open on your phone, and you'll be quoting something to me and going You're very to. Very clever. I'll give you that one. I'm picking on wordings. Yes. I see. So we should never question wordings in the Bible. If a Mormon comes up to you or a Pentecostal or a Catholic, you must accept everything they say immediately because you mustn't argue about wordings. Can I, can I just read this? Uh... I mean, it's a very simple. Okay, I, I, what I, I, is... Can I just read, read, read this? Is you want to go to another here? verse. I'm asking you to explain John 2, 19 to 21. What is the temple? Destroy this temple. What's that temple? What is the temple? Just explain that to me here. I don't want to go to other verses. Destroy this temple and in three days I will raise it up. But he was speaking of the temple of his body. What is this temple? That's all I'm asking you. What well, the scripture says, the, the, the scripture says, he was talking about his body. Right. The temple is his body. Right. So if the temple is his body, when he says, in three days I will raise it up, isn't that talking about the body being resurrected? It, 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 yeah, it talks, it talks about his resurrection, yes. Right. But the resurrection of the body. The resurrection of the person, Jesus Christ. So, so what does temple refer to in John 2.19? Could you read the verse and tell me what temple means? In Listen, Mr. Robert, I really, I, I, I haven't got time for this, uh, you know, this endless argue. It's, it's not endless you, argue, you man. You, you, you don't even, got, you don't even understand. All of the Bible, not just one verse out of, you know, thousands. But you deal with one verse in depth. You both talk about that verse for 20 minutes. When you've exhausted that, then you go on to the next verse. What you're I, doing is you're I'm ignoring really everything I say and you're going seconds I, I later. Got, to... I haven't got time for this. It's not a matter of language. It's not a matter of personality. I it's don't... not a matter of being sick or clever. I just haven't got time for this because it's nonsense. We're not, talking, we're not getting anywhere. You're just taking scriptures out of context. I'm taking, you're how really am making, I, right, tell me how I'm taking really scriptures out of context. I'm asking you a question. That, that's uh, it. That's a stamp of approval. How can my ask you a question be taking scripture out of context? No, no, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. You're not asking, you're, you're asking, you're asking uh, bogus questions, questions that, you know. Bogus? You're, you're laying a trap for them, basically. What? You're not interested. You're not interested in what the Bible says. You're interested to prove a point. To show I just Bible want to know. know. I just want to know what the word temple means in John two nineteen and John two twenty one. Okay, in one word. Yep. The, the word temple in John two nineteen that you just read. Yep. Means Jesus' body. The verse itself says that. Right. Then, then if the word temple means his body. Destroy this temple, meaning body, and in three days I will raise it up. Isn't Jesus prophesying here he's going to rise up the body that dies and is in the tomb for three days? That's why the tomb was empty. When, when they rolled back the stone, the angel rolled back the stone on the tomb, the tomb was empty. Right? Because Jesus had resurrected from the grave okay, in the same go, body that he if died you go in. Along, if you go along that, that thought, if you go along the line of, uh, that line of reasoning, okay... Then that brings us to the question, if that was the same body that he died in, then when he went to heaven, how did he go to heaven? With that body or a different body? With that body, just like Elijah in Second Kings, I think it is, 2.11, oh, went no, to Elijah heaven. Elijah did not go to heaven. That's another misconception. 
it was purely transferred from point A to point B. We did not go to heaven as a, you know, a, a spirit creature or anything. It, it, by Jehovah's power, Elijah was transferred from one location to a different location. To, from the point of an observer on the earth, it seemed that he went to heaven. Because later on, the accounts show that he was somewhere else in another location talking to different people. Um, Second Kings chapter 2 verse 11. Then it happened. I'm not looking it up because can I read the Bible? I'm not, I'm not, I'm can not, I can I read it. the Bible? I, I, I just feel I'm wasting my time here, you be So I like to call it the day. Can you mind. have the good manners to let me just read this one verse? Second, yeah, okay, Second Kings that, two yeah. eleven. Please. Okay. Then it happened. Thank you. Then it happened as they continued on and talked that suddenly a chariot of fire appeared with horses of fire, and separated the two of them. And Elijah went up by a whirlwind into heaven. It says Elijah went up in a, by a whirlwind into heaven. So Elijah was taken is, up into heaven. And your point is? Elijah was taken up into heaven. in Not as a spirit creature, but in so his physical body. I, I've why never been to heaven, mate, so did, I can't why, tell why, you. Why, why did he go to heaven? For what reason? Because God decided to take him into heaven. It's not my place to point the finger at God and tell God what God can or cannot and, and do. What, and what happened after he went to heaven? I don't know. I've never been to heaven. Right. No, neither, neither have I. Right. But, but if, the you read, text... if you read the account about Elijah, you will realize that after that event, he was also seen again by humans that other people talked to him. Could you on show me that verse, please? I'm, I've got my Bible in front of me. Show me the verse that says that. Uh, okay. I will, I, I will do just, 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 just for you. And thank you. Thank you. I don't mean to be mean-spirited, or but this is very difficult, and this is but why it's always best to stick to that. one topic. I don't, I don't wish to be rude. Um, that's, that, that doesn't bother me. Please do not... Uh, but if we talk again, I don't want to discuss the resurrection. I want to discuss what warfare and politics. And I would ask you, please, to speak to me, maybe on Zoom, with another Jehovah's Witness elder. Because it is difficult for me sometimes to understand your accent, sir. Okay. Thank you. I mean, after this verse, we read that the spirit of Elijah rested on Elisha in 2 Kings 2.15. Now, if the spirit of Elijah rested on Elisha, it means that Elijah has left the earth. He's no longer with us. He's been beamed up. You know, I don't wish to be flippant or blasphemous, but um, it, it says he went up by a whirlwind into heaven in 2 Kings 2.11. So... You know, I assumed that Elijah was taken up into heaven. Um, why do you have such a problem with Jesus ascending into heaven? Are you going through various bits of literature to sort of... Yeah, no, I'm just looking up some references. Just bear with me. Okay, thank you. And thank you for your patience. I mean, what I do when I speak to people is I always prepare thoroughly before I talk to them. I don't say I'll get back well, to you. I mean, oh. to be honest with you, I thought your question was about that issue regarding Jesus' body. So, I mean, I, I didn't know we were going to talk about Elijah and, Elijah and other characters as well. You said that people cannot ascend bodily into heaven. People can only go to heaven as spirits. So I gave you an example, 2 Kings 2.11, where it says Elisha went up by a whirlwind into heaven. And then it says in verse 15, the spirit of Elijah rested on Elisha. So that means that Elijah has left, left the building. 
Elijah has gone. He's gone into heaven. He, he, he. And then the the ministry uh, through the prophet is through his um, spiritual, you know, um, the person who took over from him, from him Elisha. something here I, I, I read this to you okay give me the reference just, just be patient with me give me the reference and this is the inside book oh. the inside on the scriptures give me the reference a, give me the a, full reference a, which volume which page number uh, I'm, I'm just looking at a digital copy to be honest on the, on the, on the, yeah of course I, I, I will I read this to you, then I'll give you the proper reference, you can look it up yourself. It says, Ascension to Heaven. At Second Kings chapter 2, verses 11 and 12, the prophet Elijah is described as ascending in the, in the wind storm to the heavens. The heavens here refer to are the atmospheric heavens in which wind storm occurs, not the spiritual heavens of God's presence. Elijah did not die at the time of such ascension, but he continued to live for a number of years after his heavenly transportation away from his successor, Elisha. Nor did Elijah, upon death, ascend to the spiritual heaven. Then Jesus, while on earth, clearly stated that no man had ascended into heaven. So, uh, so at, at Pentecost... Peter likewise said of David that he did not ascend to the heavens. In, re in reality, there is nothing in the scriptures to show that a heavenly hope was held can I respond? out to God's servants prior to the coming of Jesus Christ. Yeah, you can make so many points, you see. I lose the thread, and, and, and I, I, I cannot respond to multiple points. I can only respond to one point. Are you saying that Elijah... In Second Kings chapter two verse eleven is your insight in the scripture book. And what is the reference? I've asked you three times for the reference, please. The reference is Insight on the Scriptures, Volume One. Yeah. Pages ten fifty nine to ten sixty five. Ten fifty nine to ten sixty five. There is a hang, on. There. hang on, there is a hang on, hang on, you're telling me you've just quoted from six pages. No, 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 no. What I quoted was, was the, the subheading, the ascension to heaven. That section is on page... I don't want the section, I just want the exact reference to the quote yeah, that you I am, read. I'm, I'm looking for the page, exact page. Yeah, thank you, thank you. You want the exact page, I'm going to give you the exact page. Just bear with me. I'm, I'm not looking at the physical yeah. hard copy, I'm looking at the digital yeah. copy. The point I the wanted to... Copy. I mean, I'm going to give up. You're not going to give me the reference, the proper reference. Look, are okay, you saying... Page, it, it, it is uh, volume one. Yeah. Page 1063. 1063, thank you. So, is your insight in... The, I've got paragraph numbers, but the, the, but the subheading yeah. is... Ascension to heaven in, in bold letters. Is your book saying that Elijah wasn't taken to heaven where God is? He was taken into the atmosphere. Is that what That's your book right, is yeah. saying? That's so right, you're right. saying that God took Elijah like 30, 40, 50,000 feet up into the atmosphere where it's freezing cold. You do realise when jet liners fly through the air, it's like minus 60, minus 70, minus 80 degrees. Without well, proper clothing. They, they go to altitudes of 15, 20,000 feet. But the, 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 the atmospheric heaven, I mean, if you, no, if you can't walk out of the jet point. at that oh, height, please. there's no oxygen for you to breathe. Please, are you, know, you saying, that, that, please, please let me make my point without an interruption. Are you saying that Elijah was taken thousands of feet up into the air? No. Elijah was taken as far as the, like, the birds can fly. But isn't that isn't that up in the atmosphere? What do you mean yeah. as far as the birds can fly? So are you saying well, that people on the atmospheric heaven? He said, uh, right, the atmospheric heaven. Atmos, atmos, if you 
So are you saying that if Elijah was taken as far as birds can fly, that people would have seen Elijah for many years up in the sky? No, no, no. Who says that? No, I, I never said that. Was, where was, what does it mean, man? When it says Elijah I went up by a whirlwind into heaven, what does that mean? I, 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 I don't know what okay. you're talking about, man. I thought you said he didn't go to heaven where God is. I thought you said in your book, Elijah going up by a whirlwind was into the atmosphere. And I thought you've now said he went up to where, where the birds flow, fly. I'm trying to it understand you. I'm it trying to understand you. What are you it saying? The, the word, it said the word heavens, referred to here, is the atmospheric heaven in which winter storm occurs. Right, so are you saying that God took Elijah thousands of feet up in the air where the birds fly? If God took him, God could protect him. So it... it, it well, the same thing it, applies to God. It would, not make, it would not make any difference to Jehovah God. If he transported him that way, he was also able to protect his life. But that, but that argument applies that. to Elijah going into heaven as well. If if God took Elijah into heaven where he resides, God could preserve him there also. It just seems silly to me that you're saying God took Elijah up into the air, up into the atmosphere where the birds fly. So people on the earth could see Elijah up in the sky. Elijah had no food. He had no water. Did Elijah go to the toilet? I mean, would Elijah <laughs> urinate and defecate from the sky down on the people yeah, on the I, ground? I, 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 this silly. You're, you're, of course you're it's silly. The idea talking. that Elijah is floating up in the atmosphere where the birds fly for many years, which is what you're saying, is absolutely ridiculous. The obvious context is when it says Elijah went up by a whirlwind into heaven, the people reading this would assume he's taken up into heaven the abode of God, not the atmosphere. That's not what the Bible, because, uh, because later on, uh, Elijah was seen again by humans. Like where, God. where, where? I've asked you where. Prove it. Don't just tell me that. Show me that in the Bible. There's lots just, of things in the Bible I don't know, and I'm happy to be corrected because I learn. But I don't learn anything when I get someone who just paraphrases to me and reads read some literature that they're reading off their mobile phone, which they don't even understand themselves. <laughs> I mean, are you saying that Elijah was up in the atmosphere where the birds fly? We've established not tens of thousands of feet, but maybe a thousand feet or two or three thousand feet. That's as high as birds fly, I think. And God kept Elijah up in the atmosphere for many, many years. I thought that's what you said. This is Second insight Christ. in the scriptures that you're reading from. Is that right? Insight in the scriptures? Yes. Page 1063 still? Uh, it is. No, this is a different page. I'll give you the reference. They give me the reference, well. yeah. Yeah, I mean, it wouldn't be fair if I just read books to you. I've got a thousand religious books. How would you feel if I just opened them at random and started reading stuff to you? It wouldn't well, be it, fair. It wouldn't be a proper it, fair it, discussion. And this, I, is, um, this is Insights Volume 1. Yeah. This time, pages... Um, is it page 700? Just let me... Again, because I'm looking at a digital copy, it's page, page 7... Well... Page 712. 712, thank you very much. Yeah, and, uh, and, uh, and the subheading where this point is made is Elijah succeeds him. And Elijah succeeds Elijah. Well, uh, that, that's the context of Second Kings chapter 2. Elisha's yeah, well, mantle also, falls also, on Elisha. Also, it, it refers you to Second Chronicles as well. Well, that's just the probably a parallel you can, account. Then you, you can see it, you can see it uh, uh, clearly when you read it. I yourself. can see what? What am I supposed Sorry? to see? If you read, if you 
only that section on the what Elijah section? Team. What section? Page, what am I supposed to do? Page Page seven one two. I don't have the data. Oh please! I thought you wanted me to go to Chronicles. I don't. I don't. I don't understand you, man. I'm sorry. I no, do I not understand you. I saw you in, inside book volume one. But I don't have the book in front of me, man. You know, I thought you were going to give me a reference, which probably is a total waste of time, because I bet you the reference in Chronicles is just a parallel account to the King's Passage. The idea that Elijah was taken up a two or three thousand feet above the ground, and he lived there for many years, being kept there by God, and people can see Elijah from the ground, is, is frankly ridiculous. I mean, come why on, can't it, you see why, that's why, why absolutely ridiculous? ridiculous? Why, why is it ridiculous? Well, do you go down the street and you look up in the air and there's a man floating in the air? I mean, is Elisha floating in the air there today? Who says that? I never said that. Right, so did Elijah go to heaven? Eventually, did Elijah v v eventually go to heaven? Or did Elisha, no, 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 it, Elijah return the to the earth? Say that. You're saying that. Well, the Bible, explain the it to me. Give, give me that. the whole background you because I don't know. I just, I just told you it, 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 we need to clarify the, the word heaven. In that, in that particular context, it does not refer to Jehovah, to Jehovah God's presence. As it, it, refers, it, it refers to atmospheric heaven. Yes, so it, is he in the atmospheric heaven now? So Elijah has long, died, has long died, we're talking about... Right, but you're saying he didn't... Right, his, which, his verse, which verse says that Elijah died? And, and when he died, did he, his body go to heaven or did his body go on the earth? I mean, which Bible verse talks about Elijah's death and where his well, body went? Do you, do you think I'm a... I'm a do you think I'm an encyclopedia of the scripture? I don't know exactly where each scripture is. Give me time and I'll collect all that information. I don't know. No, I, I do not wish to discuss this topic again. I'm happy to discuss politics and warfare, but I do not wish to discuss anything to do with that, what that, we've discussed fine, tonight. That's, that's, I, 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 I think that's for the best. Much. Thank you very yeah. much. I'm happy to talk to you again if you talk to me with another elder on the topic of politics and warfare, which is chapter 13. But I don't wish no, to no, discuss the resurrection. We don't, we don't dabble in politics. We don't, we're not interested yes, in Yes, you do. The Watchtower is involved in both politics and warfare today. It gets share dividends from arms companies that, 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 through that, the Henrietta that, that, M. Raleigh Trust. That's a, that's, a, that's, that's a baseless accusation. I've got the tax receipts from the IRS tax records, which state... Oh, you're going back to that, are we? No interest in that. All right. All the best, then. Bye-bye. Thank you very much. Bye-bye, mate. Bye-bye.